Let's meet the starters for the featured review stake, the Alexander Memorial. This is a trifecta race. Number one was Sir Valahad, owned by Doug Ackerman Stables, Incorporated, LaPorte, Indiana, trained and driven by Doug Ackerman. Coupled in the wagering 1A, American, owned by Doug Ackerman Stables, Incorporated, trained by Doug, driven by D.R. Ackerman. Number two is Brilliant, owned by Bill Wright of Morton, Illinois, Mystical Marker Farms of Chicago Heights, trained by Dirk Simpson, Tony Morgan is up. Number three, Kremlin Conspiracy, owned by K.G. Burtmark Stable of Sweden, trained by John Johnson. He is in the bike. Number four is Levexter, owned by Kevin and Colleen Bamford of Melbourne, Australia, owned by Brooke Nichols of White House Point, Florida, and owned by Glenby Farms of New York, trained and driven by Brooke Nichols. Five is Victory Sam, owned by Christian Tactor, Anderberg Stable, and Tom Christensen of New Jersey and Sweden, trained and driven by Jimmy Tactor. Number six, Choco Chip Hanover, owned by Bob Waxman of Ancaster, Ontario, trained by John Johnson, Bernd Lindstedt in the bike. Number seven is Titanic Tag, owned and trained by Ivan Sugg. He is from Deschler, Ohio. Duke Sugg is the driver. And number eight will be Olympic Chip, owned by Scotty Harris and Walter Fister of Paducah and Georgetown, Kentucky, West Paducah, Kentucky, trained by Scotty Harris. Fred Finn, Jr. is in the bike. That's the field for the Alexander Memorial Win, play, show, exact a trifecta wagering, post time in only five minutes. Races and all of harness racing dating back to 1894 for the first edition of the Alexander Memorial, which has carried this particular title for the past few years. Here they come. They're off and trotting. There goes Choco Chip Hanover for the lead. Victory Sam is right there. Sir Valahad moves out as well, followed by Levexter and Kremlin Conspiracy, who's down toward the inside, heading on to the first turn. Sir Valahad trots to the front, leads it by a half length. Choco Chip Hanover stacks up to the far outside. Victory Sam is there in between those two. The first three trotters still in a line across the track, contesting the lead, and they're at the quarter pole. Victory Sam comes out of that crowd in 26 and 4. That's a quick front quarter. He leads it by a length and a half. Sir Valahad goes second. Choco Chip Hanover racing in third onto the backstretch. Then Levexter in good position in fourth, followed by Kremlin Conspiracy. Then Brilliant, Titanic Tag, Olympic Chip, and American is the trailer as the field goes single file for the move up the backstretch. They're being led by Victory Sam by just a length. Sir Valahad second by a length and a half. And then Choco Chip Hanover, Levexter toward the inside. Kremlin Conspiracy takes toward the outside from fifth. He's still five lengths off the lead. The half was reached in 56 and three-fifths seconds. Victory Sam takes them to the far turn, leading Sir Valahad by a length and a half. Then Choco Chip Hanover, Levexter joined by Kremlin Conspiracy on the outside. Brilliant is also in the outer flow. Titanic Tag needs racing room eight lengths off the lead and is followed by Olympic Chip and American and Victory Sam is giving this field the slip and Choco Chip Hanover knows it. There's four lengths separating those top two, three quarters and 126 and four. Victory Sam off the far turn leads it by four lengths. Choco Chip Hanover second and is followed by Kremlin Conspiracy in third. Sir Valahad drops back. Levexter is wide in fifth but has a lot of ground to make up. Not much time to do it. Victory Sam leads it by three. Choco Chip Hanover. Levexter coming fast but he's coming late. Here's the line. Victory Sam wins the $90,000 Alexander Memorial over a fast-closing Levexter by a length and a half. Close for third, either Kremlin Conspiracy or Choco Chip Hanover in 154 and 1. Three-year-old son of Valley Victory moving into the winner's circle. Number four, Levexter second. The three, Kremlin Conspiracy third. The six, Choco Chip Hanover fourth. George Alexander Jr. joined by his grandson in the winner's circle, Robert Coletta making the presentation of the Alexander Memorial Trophy. Jimmy Tactor got his start in harness racing through his father, Bo Tactor, one of the most successful trainers in Sweden. And Jimmy now makes his home in Allentown, New Jersey for his U.S. base of operations. Result is official. You've trained some top trotters over the years. You've won, you've won the biggest races in the U.S. You're known across the globe. This colt 
was 0 for 6 as a two-year-old. Now he's 4 for 9. Was he just kind of a slow developer? Uh, he wasn't really ready for uh, two-year-old races. He was uh, physical and mentally was a little late developer. And uh, he been coming in good. You know, he raced a good race in Hamiltonian. and unfortunately didn't have a good post position. If he would have a little better post position, he definitely would have been uh, right there. Is this a horse who's headed for the Breeders' Crown? Well, at first we take one step at a time, you know, next start going to be the Trotting Derby, so hopefully we can uh, tune him up a little bit for that. Jimmy, we love the international flavor that you bring to the Illinois State Fair. Congratulations. Sweden's Jimmy Tactor, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you, Jimmy. The rundown is coming up next for that final race.